finally shook my head and I was smiling as I said it. As I, and I said yes under my breath. Now the other person is responding to her saying no, they won't be in the office. This person snaps at me, and I'm going to say snap because that's how I feel. Snaps at me and says, you, need to, you, 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 you can go ahead and go. You can go. What, what does it matter to you anyways? You're leaving anyways, right? Aren't you leaving anyways? I said, well... I mean, God laughs at the plans of man. I can make a plan all day. <laughs> but I'm really into God. I'm really, really into it. So if he say no, no. I tried that before. I didn't try to leave the whole country, baby. <sighs> he turned us around right when we got to the border. <laughs> right when we got to the border, huh, Joe? No. He don't care. But this person got an automatic attitude with me. Well, you can go ahead. You can go ahead and leave for the day. You need to. I'm gonna pray for you. I said no. Please don't pray for me. Especially when somebody say it like that. Black people always want to say it with an attitude as though somebody's gonna accept your prayers. First of all, you have a negative connotation again. So no. I said no. Thank you. I don't. I don't want you to pray for me. I only allow specific people to pray for me. Um. So thank you, but no. That, I didn't say it with an attitude. I didn't raise my voice. I just said no. Thank you. I only allow specific people to pray for me. Oh, no, because your spirit is negative. Your spirit is just negative. You need to go check yourself. I said, I talk to my father every day. Well, you need to go ask your father again. I'm sorry, why are you so mad? <laughs> like, what are you so mad about? I stood there for a second and was about to go back and forth with the person because I know that I'm good for it. Like, the person was about to look stupid. Um, But for what? Two fools arguing, you can't tell who the fool is. I can make you look stupid all day, but it's going to take me to look a little bit stupider than you to make you look stupid, baby. Now I ain't had the time. I was already about to leave. I was off work. I can get on my little scooter, my little moped, and go blaze through the city. I can go get some food for my dog. Uh, let's see. So many other things besides standing here and arguing with an African-American female, um, which 9 out of 10, this is all y'all know. I, I, this ain't all I know. This ain't all I can show. This ain't all I know. I don't understand it, but, you know, do you? And I went ahead to try to leave, and I was like, I really had to turn around and say to the person, are you? And because they kept talking. I'm like, and you think you're going to get the last word, and blah, blah, blah. I said, are you serious? Yes, I'm very serious. Say less. I think a lot of us claim God. But when our flesh is weak, we claim something else. We gang bang for another side. I'm not judging you on it. Like I said, I have the same thing. I just learned my spirit is low. Let me go home. Let me sit down. I'm okay. It's okay to be alone sometimes. It's okay to go out and, and put your feet in just some water or in some grass or in some dirt. It's okay. The same way people wanted to raise us up to think that, oh, it's okay to fight all the time. It's okay to argue. It's okay to put your hands on each other. It's the same way now I'm having to change my mindset and say, no, it's okay to, to be myself and, and go somewhere else. I don't want to hurt nobody. I don't want to hurt nobody, and I don't want nobody to hurt me. I don't want nobody to put their hand on my son. I don't want nobody to put their hand on my daughter. So why, why am I going to go around the world thinking that that's okay for me to do this to someone else? In the interim of it. Oh, they in the state. Take care. <laughs> Wifey number seven. Uh, so that was me, I feel like, learning how to just stop talking. But the biggest problem for me about the situation was just because I'm younger than a person does not mean that I should have to stop talking. And I've found that a lot of these older adults, older generations believe that y'all still know the way when your way is on the way out. Literally, you are one foot in the grave. And it's not to be negative. You should be happy that you 
I hope you finished your mission. I hope you did something worth something. Something. I don't got nothing to do but a lot of us younger folk, we are young, but we are at the age that we deserve respect. I realized that. I said, I can't even, I'm at the age now that if my niece or nephew says something out of line to me, I can say, uh-uh, you need to respect your elders. If we are able to say that, <laughs> then we are elders ourselves. And if I'm an elder myself, then you need to respect me at whatever table we are sitting at if you want the same respect a lot of times we keep doing that whole do as I say not as I do no baby no we bringing the same thunder to your front door that you brought to mine what are we talking about so moving forward you are going to see the ones from my generation start rising up more because we're realizing we're the lights. I wanted to say we're the light, y'all the darkness, but it's not like that. But we're the light. Everybody can be the light, but we are the light. We were born the light. We were made for this, for this season right here. For what is to come right now. I keep saying it over and over again. My father is preparing to grace this planet. I don't mean that in a good way. Well, I guess his perspective is key. But we have to, have to, have to. And by have to, I mean me and mine. It's your choice. Start really loving each other. We say I love you to each other. But the actions of love are totally different than what's being shown. Say I love you to God, but the action of love <laughs> are completely different than what's being shown. Go out, ground yourself. Uh, today the first. Today's the first. Tomorrow's the second. Uh, it should be a full moon on the third if I'm right. If you can, make you some moon water. Get you some moon water going. Because we're going to need it. Re-energize yourself. Prepare yourself for this next week. Because this next week is about to be a thumper. It's going to be a thumper. Why is it going to be a thumper? Because the more you open your mind and the more you realize this world ain't shit. And the only thing that is some shit is the things that make this world go round in a sense and I don't mean money, I mean love. A lot of people are about to wake up. And a lot of people are about to get a slap. But the slap, I don't know how to explain it. It's not for you to wake up and realize like, oh, like, oh, let me fix it. It's like, it's too late. No, it's never too late to go to God. It's just too late. I don't know how to explain it. It's just too late. People have been preaching over and over and over again. Hey, we need to love each other. Hey, we need to start doing this. Hey, the world is ozone layer is gone and this and that and another. So it's like once the world starts burning and really bark starts burning, don't panic then. Don't get mad. Don't protest then. It's too late. It's burning. It's like me telling you to get you some fire extinguishers in your house because I think your wires is bad. And the house gonna catch on fire, and then the house catch on fire, and then you go buy the fire extinguishers. The house is gone. It's a wishful thinking, but it's too late. Some things is some things you can't be too late to. I like this little twist and lock stuff. It's probably backwards, but twist and lock, it smells good. So that's pretty much all I wanted to talk to y'all about is show respect where respect is due. Not because of age, not because of color, not because of anything other than respect is due. They earned it. They worked for it. I've earned it and I've worked for it. This whole YouTube channel has recorded everything that I have literally been doing. Only time that I've slowed down has been since I've been working here at the Cecil. 
And the only reason why that is is because I legally don't know what I can say on my own channel. But at this point in my life, listen. They should have gave me some better rules or something. So that's how I'm feeling. Jebediah. Get my dreads going. All the ladies don't love it. And I lost my ring light charger. I don't know where that thing is. I gotta find it. Otherwise, I'll be using the ring light. I'm having to use this light. I'll be buying stuff and then just. Only thing I keep up with is my kids' stuff. I don't realize that. All they toys and stuff ain't never got lost. My stuff, gone. Beneath that. Reba Dirty. So that's all I wanted to show y'all and tell y'all today. I didn't show y'all nothing, but let y'all listen to that. That's just something that I had uh, heard before I did this video and I wanted to share the fact that us on this planet, um, we can be very rude. We can be very conniving. But if we practice being as nice and humble every day of every minute of every second, you, you don't even know how many blessings you probably would get. No, it's not saying let people walk all over you, take your stuff, do this and that and another. No, it's not telling you to get up right now and end up homeless just because you gave your house to somebody else. No, but if you have it in you to give, then give. You have it in you to share, then share you have it in you to, to preach, preach. This world needs more love than what it's giving. And you guys are about to witness the consequences of that. More so than what you have in So this has been another Blood Talk with Shane J. Alexander. I don't know how to get this pimple to go away, bro. But in the interim of it, I'm still sexy, so it's like... It's okay. <laughs> I'll see y'all the next time, next one, next line, another one. You already know what it is. Stay blessed. Stay loving each other. Stay you.